Something awful has happened in South Africa involving South African model Chidima Vanessa Onwe Adichina, who is an entrant and actually has become a contestant on Miss South Africa. She has been attacked mercilessly and awfully bullied and insulted by people saying that she's not really South African. Chidima was born and raised in South Africa. She was raised in Soweto. She was born at Chris Baragwanath Hospital to a South African mother and a Nigerian father, but many South Africans are now saying based on her appearance and her name she's not actually South African even though she quite literally is when you consider being South African is just are you a citizen of this country are you born here raised here have a valid ID then you're a citizen she is a citizen but a lot of people are pointing out that it's not just xenophobia, the fear of the foreigner it's specifically Afrophobia happening here because it's the fear and hatred of African immigrants, even though she's not an immigrant, African people in South Africa tying into uh, conversations that have been stoked up and led by politicians who've now got lots of votes and got elected, that foreigners are coming in and stealing the jobs and committing all the crimes and all this evil stuff, which is overwhelmingly not supported by facts or data. South Africans, black South Africans, literally have the face of their country of every other race but black people. Mm. And they told me all in that conversation, I'm lying, they do praise black beauty. And guess who is the new face? Then the question is this, if you praise black beauty, why isn't Mrs. South Africa black? Of Miss South Africa. A white woman. Mm, y'all hate black people. Y'all country is only 7% white, and that's what y'all praise from facts. the top of y'all lungs. Y'all can't stand seeing another black person do well. I personally didn't care what Homer Fizz said about her citizenship. All I cared about was the fact that nothing about her represented South Africans. When you tell us that we would rather celebrate a Mariki Filyun over our black sister, then we have the right to tell you that what you're talking about is a racial issue and it has nothing to do with being in South Africa. Damn. The brother and sister card in the situation doesn't work because a Mariki Filyun is more of my sister when we talk about being a South African as opposed to a black girl that comes from Nigeria or Ghana. In South African context, Mariki is my sister because I recognize her name, I recognize her language, and I recognize her culture. A Miguel okay, let me just ask the question then. Does she recognize your name, recognize your culture? That is the question. Because we can sit here and try to sing the song of unity as much as we want, but at the end of the day, do they actually care about us? Do they? You're not sitting at the dinner tables when they're spewing all of this racist garbage. You're not there. When I look at people, right, I don't just listen to them anymore. Before I used to be like, oh my God, I used to listen to all the storytellers. You know we're one, you and me, we together. Now I actually look at people's actions. I just, I listen to people's stories. I'm like, damn, that's a great story but i look at people's actions because the actions they speak louder than words is she at the ghetto is she trying to help out in south africa is she actually putting in the work is she actually there in soweto or these like slums and actually trying to help Mm. Y'all can't stand other Africans. Y'all can't stand yourself. Y'all have no type of coming together or anything of the sort. Y'all rather praise this. Mm. But Loki, I'm not even gonna lie. Shalise Theron is hot. She's attractive. She is. I get what he's trying to say, but she oh in her 30s she was super attractive. Now she's I think in her 50s, so it's like mmm. It's not, she's not as attractive, but still. Forget this. This is the ideal representation <laughs> of South Africa. This is what, every time a South Africa looks in the mirror, mm. this is what you see. Oh, it's not just South Africa Whoa. that wants that to be their representation. Whoa. It's a lot of Africa. Whoa. Whoa. This guy better take it easy right now. You, you better you better calm down because the black women are going to be coming for you, my guy. 
See, the one thing I love about TikTok is that people be coming out here and telling all on themselves. Mm. Okay, mm. I'm starting to see why y'all have so much energy, and I'm talking about Africans. Why y'all got so much energy for Black Americans? Mm. Because y'all don't even have control in y'all's nations that y'all are so proud to come from. Example A. Y'all steady mo over there online trying to argue with black Americans all day and y'all don't even like each other. I mean, this is why y'all bullied this girl out of being the damn Miss South Africa because she's a black girl from another black country. And y'all just keep proving my point that <laughs> Africans, y'all are the true originators of black on black crime because y'all bullied this black girl. And it's not like she was trying to be Miss anything of a country that was not already black. But the thing is, she was trying to be Miss Black whatever in a country where everybody's black, but they hate each other. They'd rather have 7% of their population. UK is officially finished. People rioting, destroying properties, racism. The immigrants didn't make you lose your British values or your British principles. Oh, I thought y'all had it so good over there. I thought y'all don't have to go through things over there. Aww. Y'all scream, y'all know where y'all come from, yet y'all be so quick to leave. Okay, let's pause the donkey rider for a while and just explain what is happening in Africa because I do agree. I do agree with him. Uh, the thing is like this, there's a lot of black hate in Africa and I've seen it myself. Even when I was at home in my beautiful country of Namibia, I saw it. I saw the segregation. So I do have to say that it has to do a lot with colonization and also the way that the media psychologically manipulates us and makes us not really look at ourselves as number one. But I have to say there's a lot of prominent figures or a lot of prominent artists which are coming out of Africa right now. If you look at Rema, you look at Burna Boy and a lot of other African artists which are doing an amazing job to deprogram us from all of that. I do understand where he's coming from and he's correct and there's certain things that we have to work on in our community and instead of people just going in to attack the donkey rider I think what we should do is we should take a second and think from this perspective okay 50% of what he's saying might be true right so how do we change that? Where y'all come from to run somewhere to get treated like complete and pure shit. Mm. Mm. Y'all just love to run away from where you from. Y'all ran away from y'all homelands that y'all scream. Y'all know where y'all come from, but y'all don't want to live there because y'all don't want to live in corruption. And now you want to leave this other place. Y'all never know how to just sit down and fight. Y'all always got to run. Y'all run away from all your fucking problems. Because the one thing I want to let sure that y'all know this. Don't run to America. Because after all that shit that y'all was talking, please. Who would have thought that there would be a time where South Africans are defending their Miss South Africa? Mm. Jesus Christ. Now, first of all, the person talking here, this is their Miss South Africa 2024. This is their Miss South Africa 2023. And this is their Miss South Africa 2022. So you get the idea. Ne? Now, I don't know why is it they are misinformed or they choose to be misinformed because mm. never have we ever in south africa we're not talking on behalf of any africa we're talking on behalf of <laughs> south africa because we are our own country never have we ever said that in south africa it's only blacks in south africa we have four races for now we have blacks it's not black Kenyans, black Nigerians, it's black South Africans. Okay. We have black South Africans, we have Indian South Africans, we have white South Africans, and we have colored people. Okay? It doesn't matter whether you're Indian, white, black, or colored. As long as you are a true South African. So, we are sorry that you guys feel this way. We're sorry that you feel like race should matter in cases like this especially when we say things like you know chidima wasn't south african enough to represent us but chidima is black and this person is white and she won the title so what do you mean that this person wasn't good enough black people are the kindest people in the world we will allow you to come into our house eat our food sleep in our bed but then what the white people are doing, they start to pee around in our house, start to spit around. And then when you try to come home, guess what? The door is locked. You don't live there anymore. 
So I'm just saying like, yes, we've been raised to always be unified. We're all Namibians and we're all South Africans. You're a Namibian if you see everyone as a Namibian. Not only see, actually hanging, spending time with Namibians, trying to help out, investing in certain places. Not just, we live over here and you guys live over there. But when it's convenient, I'm a Namibian. Oh, I'm a South African. But when it comes to everything else, it's us versus them. Mackenzie is more of my sister when we talk about being a South African <sighs> as opposed to a Chidima. If your problem is race and colonization, then there's other platforms where you can discuss those things. <laughs> if the situation is racial, then yes, I can say Chidima is more of my sister than a Mariki, but this is not the case. So stop trying to guilt trip us and using big words to make us feel guilty or make us feel bad for not wanting to accept a person that doesn't represent us in any way. Stop trying to divanisa things that don't divana. You should be quiet and just work in silence. That's why I'm saying like, hey, we're just putting in the work. Every day just putting in the work. No hate to any content creator. If you hate me for the way I look, that's fine. But I do have to say, if a person doesn't like you, is it okay for you not to care about that person? Is it okay for you just to say, ah, oh, I get it, you don't like me, but that's fine. Even if she was green or yellow, it like it literally does not matter. If there's nothing in you that says Sauta, then why do you want to represent Sauta? Like, do you understand? Do you get it? Please get it, please understand. Because now this is trending, but this one is why we love Mia so much. Someone was like, um, but Mia, but Mia, we love her so much. And I'm sorry that, you know, us loving her is a problem to you or it pains or it gives you chest pains and sleepless nights. But she's only representing the minority. Yes, even the minority of disabled people that we have. That's what she's representing. So that is why you have chest pains, because she's representing the minority. The minority people are not supposed to count. But South Africa has 80% black people, so it should, no, it shouldn't. You can't tell us what should and should not. This is our country. <laughs> this is our country. And if we are saying we are happy. If you think of it, it really has nothing to do with if it's your country or not. It doesn't. It's just if you wanted to be in the room, would they allow you to? That is the question. Because if... 7% of the population are calling all the shots. It's not really your country. I hate to say like, I have no problem. Like I have no problem with South Africans. I love South Africans, but that's why I'm saying. Sometimes you need to listen to 50% of what people are saying. 50. Don't just, Oh, F you. I hate you. No. Listen to 50% and be like, okay, is this person maybe right? Are they making a point when they say this? Because he is making a point. He is. Here's another Miss South Africa contestant. This is her third time entering Miss South Africa. Her name is Sherry Wang. There have been some weird messages and awful messages about her, but not nearly the same level of mass fury and mass vitriol against her being in Miss South Africa at all. And she's a South African citizen. This outrage is very selective. It's There's very little actual outrage teetering into xenophobia against Europeans coming here, Americans coming to South Africa. But when it is somebody of African parenting, and this outrage is actually so selective and often inconsistent because, for example, Tendai Mtoa Rira is one of the most beloved and iconic South African rugby players ever, born and raised in Zimbabwe, but a South African citizen. Roger Federer, we love to claim, because I think one of his parents is South Africa and he was born in Johannesburg, even though meaningfully he's Swiss, and yet Trevor Noah is playing tennis with him and he's being treated like one of South Africa's sons. I was watching this interview once with Dame Dash on The Breakfast Club, right? And uh, they're going back and forth about being a boss. Dame is trying to give these people some knowledge Charlemagne and DJ MV there 
arguing against Dame, arguing against Dame. And Dame is like, unless you're a boss, you do not have any power. Unless you call the shots, this is not your platform. They're like, oh, this is our platform. We can do whatever we want. They're not listening. They're not listening. Go and create your own platform because then you get to dictate whatever you want to do. My son in the future, if he comes to me and says, dad, I want a job. I'll say, okay, work, work on YouTube. Maybe in the future, we don't even have YouTube. Maybe we have, I don't know, AIs or other platforms or whatever, but I'm going to work really hard right now. So my son never have to beg. He never has to look at me struggle me go through something and me talking to my boss, another man, which I'm calling daddy. I, can't, I don't know you guys, maybe you guys wanna do that every day. Maybe you wanna go to a man and sit on his lap and call him daddy. Maybe that's what you wanna do. As an African, that's what you wanna do. You wanna sit on a Chinese man and you wanna, you wanna twerk. Maybe that's what you wanna do, but I do not wanna do that. Brother, I do not want to do that. That is one of the reasons why I put in the work. Because the Chinese, they're coming to Africa right now, they're buying all of Africa. Who are you gonna call daddy? The only person that I'm calling daddy is my father. <laughs> and I'm not even calling him daddy, I'm like dad.